Well, Nina made an unexpected run to the Division I state title game last baseball season, but despite that accomplishment, it appears this season the Rockets are going to have to prove themselves all over again. Doug Ritchie has more. Despite last year's state runner-up finish, Nina enters this season where it was last year at this time, off the radar. Nonetheless, the players are confident. I feel like this year we got a strong team already, and we're hitting good so far, so pretty pumped. The Rockets lost 10 players from last year's team, which means holes need to be filled. Those returning players, though, are focused to keep it going strong. Six returning players from that team, uh, they have high expectations, and I think the younger kids who went to the state tournament also feel like, you know, they're, why not? Why not us again? So there's high expectations. Alex Keek said a key to last year's success was chemistry. The team was one big family. That is why last year's run was so memorable. And last year's run was a lot of fun. It was different than anything I've ever had in my life. And it's so much fun that I can't even describe it. <laughs> Nobody expected Nina to make a state tournament run last season. And this year, no one's expecting the Rockets to challenge in the Fox Valley Association. The Rockets, they're okay with that. I don't feel the pressure on us right now. Uh, we know how good we are right now, and we know how talented we can be, and I guess that's all that matters. We can let other people decide rankings for us if they want to think we're eighth, okay. Nina, predicted eighth in the FEA? Once again, the Rockets will have to prove people wrong. In Nina, Doug Ritchie, Fox 11 Sports.